In December 2022, the Ghanaian economy experienced its highest inflation rate in two decades, reaching 54.1%. The city's value dropped against major currencies and food and fuel prices surged rapidly. As of 23rd November 2022, the Ghana city depreciated cumulatively by 54.2% against the US dollar. Fuel price as it is, ever since it's been increased, things are also been increased. Government recognized the urgent need for action and in response, the goal for oil policy was birthed. The depreciation of the city, as I have noted, has accelerated. To address this fundamental challenge that we all face of the persistent depreciation and its impact in, on fuel, in utility prices, food, and so on, government has opted to implement a policy of using our gold to buy oil products. The gold for oil policy allows Ghana to buy oil with gold instead of a US dollar, aiming to strengthen the Ghanaian city, stabilize inflation, and lower fuel prices. If we implement it as we have envisioned, it will fundamentally change our balance of payments and significantly reduce the persistent depreciation of our currency with its associated increases in fuel, electricity, water, transport, and food prices. Critics argue that the policy, despite its effectiveness, may foster corruption and were labeling it as a problem in search of a solution. We may even care more expenses because we are bringing an intermediary. There must be terms and conditions. The intermediary will earn money out of what you are going to, the transactions, the contract you have signed with him. That amount of money will be added to the cost of the, the, the oil that you are buying. At the end, we are not going to get it cheaper, as the vice president has put, we, we tried to portray. In January 2023, Ghana received its first consignment of 40,000 metric tons of oil from the United Arab Emirates, costing around some 40 million US dollars. Inflation consistently decreased from 54.1% in December of 2022 to around 23.2% of December 2023. Ghanaian citizens are realizing that the policy has not fully addressed the economic reality of 2022, with the city still losing 19% of its value to the dollar and currently trading at 15 cities, 10 pesos to the dollar. With the rates... It goes up on a daily basis. Last week, Friday, it was 14.8. Saturday, 2014.85. There's no day that you'll be there that the, the rate wouldn't change. The question arises whether the gold for oil policy was necessary without a long-term contingency plan. In a way, a bit in terms of economic stability. But economic stability is not entirely as a result of the gold for oil policy. But there are other factors that actually played a key role in terms of ensuring economic stability. The other factor is through the IMF program that we roll on, that actually helped in terms of reducing the rate of inflation and ensuring exchange rate stability because we had a foreign currency to back our reserves. The question remains about how to address the economic pressures that have arisen, even with the gradual phase out of the gold for oil policy. We need to go back to agriculture, to boost the agricultural sector in order to increase our exports and also to have import substitution in uh, industries. Businesses should import or buy goods and without needing physical cash. In terms of financing, it should go through the banks. The banks should do that for them instead of they needing physical dollars to buy goods and services from outside. 